Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen, to another production of the Cross-Platform Baseball League. My name is Weaver for Prez. I'll be handling play-by-play -play commentary for you tonight. And I'm joined, as always, by one of the co-commissioners of the league, Dwayne. Uh, what up, Dwayne? It is night number two of the XBL World Series for Season 8, Games 3 and 4. What do you think? Oh, Weaver, I'm excited. Like you said, Games 3 and 4 are coming at us hot and heavy, and this is going to be... This is going to be sick. Lazy jumped out early uh, with some offense and last night, and it was really, really exciting. And we're we're just excited to see what tonight's going to bring. I love playoff baseball and the World Series, especially. You know, really puts the cherry on top of a very, very awesome season. Yeah, Lazy versus Astronauts coupon. This is the matchup a lot of people suspected would be the World Series going into the preseason. These two have a bit of a rivalry just because they're both so incredibly good at the plate. Uh, pro you know, probably the two best hitters in the world. Uh, I don't think anyone would really fight you on that. And uh, but in games one and two, it was really all lazy. Uh, the two inning mercy in game one, and then I believe the five inning mercy in game two. Mm -hmm. So uh, the the theme so far, yes, uh, we've seen the great offense, but it, it's going to be up to Ashnot if he wants to make this a series. He's got to tone down the pitching. He's got to hold lazy just a little bit in check and give himself a chance to hit uh, those home runs that he's so famous for. Yeah, indeed. You need you know all the outs you can get in situations like this in series like this. Nashna not really giving himself the opportunity to get deep into games, you know, in the event of giving so up so many runs too lazy. So like you said, he's got to find, you know, a more refined pitching approach tonight in games three and four. Nail it down um, against lazy. Try and find those areas of the zone where he's not going to be ripping him into the gap back to back to back to back like he was last night. You know, lazy has an impeccable eye also, so he's going to take a ton of yes. pitches. So you really have to work strikes and uh, and find some some soft contact, some fortunate contact too. Ashna just was not there last night, you know, able to find that. Uh, Lazy was able to really rally up a lot, and he's going to look to do the same tonight. On the other hand, he um, he gave up a fair few runs to Ashna in that second game. In the first game, he didn't give him much of a chance to score, but Ashna's right. really going to be looking to score even more tonight. And if he can't. If he can rally up, uh, Lazy's going to have to do his job keeping up with Ashnod as well. It could become a bit of a foot race. Yeah, well, we could see some foot race games. And like you said, it'll be up to Ash to give himself that chance. This, this is, if you don't know, Ashnod's coupon, he set, he broke the all-time record this season for single-season home runs. Mm -hmm. I believe the number was 120 or, or, or very close to that. So it's not like... Uh, you know, it's not like this is a, just a one-horse race where Lazy is going to mash his way to the finish line. Uh, provided these games aren't ending in mercies. It's going to be dangerous for both players. The offenses mm. are absolutely ridiculous. Uh, and uh, yeah, so we're going to go into game three here. Uh, the home team in the World Series is always alternating uh, game to game. Lazy was the higher seed. He was the number one seed in our league. So he had home field in game one. Ashnot had it in game two. We're going back to Sakura Hills for Lazy to host game three. We will have that for you in just a moment. These, yeah, these two players now loading into the correct stadium. There will be no false starts uh, provided. Uh, 
neither player chooses the wrong pitcher. Hopefully that is not the case. But we got the right stadium. The site of game three. Don't let those records at the top fool you. That is not the true score of the series. It is two to nothing. Jackals. Lazy, of course. Manager and player of the Jackals. The teams exchange pleasantries. And it looks like we will begin as scheduled here. Daydream Lullaby. First pitch to Muddy Waters is low. We are underway in game three. Yep, here we go. Attacking the zone, lazy there. Working fast to Waters. Hits that one hard, right field. This could be a good start for Ash, but it will die. Oh, it will die on the warning track, but Loud Larry can't pick, pick it up anyway. It'll go as a double. That is a huge mistake from Loud Larry. Yeah, if you're trying to prevent, you know, an astronaut rally from forming, even on the first batter of the game, you don't want to be dropping balls in the outfield as that one looks like it's going to be stripped into the gap, and that's the RBI you didn't want to see if you're lazy. Yep, the absolute misplay in right field from lazy comes back to haunt him. Back-to-back -back doubles, though they were both achieved a bit differently. That one a rip into the left center field gap. And that one hit hard. The right at rolling ham, no mess up there. Astronaut coming out swinging here. Yeah, we've already got a run in this game three of the World Series, and we've been playing for, you know, probably less than a minute. And I mean, <laughs> yeah. here we go. This is this is what you signed up for. These two high-powered offenses are going to be showing their stuff. Thomas Dorsey, the 99 contact, 99 power hitter in Ashnod's lineup, looking to do some early damage. Going to see a wild fastball here. Oh, my Lord, that was crushed, but foul. Ashnod not biting on the changeup. Thinks better of advancing on the past ball. Daydream Lullaby trying to find another out here. Going to go with the changeup, and it fools Ashnod just enough to get him to whiff. Big pitch. Yeah, very big pitch there. Good placement by Lazy to put that changeup up in the zone and fool Ash. And you can see Lazy setting his outfield deep. Not a bad move when you play against guys like this. That fastball popped up. Normus waves everybody off. And makes the play. So the Chicago Blues do score once thanks to the miscue in right field. Ash will certainly take it. Yeah, it gets it done there. Not bad. Um, now he's got to do his part on the mound. Doesn't want to let Lazy get into that rally mode we saw him get into early in the, I believe, the first and you know second right. uh, games last night. Ooh. Wacky Wanda rips that one into the gap. This will be surefire extra bases. Getting it pretty quickly as Blues. So Lazy will hold it second. Both teams showing off the gappers here. I mean, that one was just smoked on a contact swing. Yeah, and in two different ways showing, you know, leadoff doubles both teams. Showing that offensive prowess they both share. Wow. That changeup hung. Lazy timed it perfectly at 99. He just got it foul. That one is going to go to the wall. Wacky Wanda will score easily. The game will be tied. Lazy picking right back where he left off. Yeah, wasting no time. No outs here in the first inning. He ties it back up. So Ashnod with one run in the first. Not enough to uh, make a difference here. A couple good pitches, however, from Hooker. He's going to need a third one, though. That one popped into center field. It will find Grass Lazy. Probably going to send him. He will. Mutters does not, or Waters does not challenge to the plate. Two to one Jackals. Still nobody out. Yeah, and shout out to La uh, Light Snack. Last one. Oh, <laughs> crushed. Center field. It's gone. It hit the rock out there. How far did that fly? Uh, 472. 472. <laughs> That's got to be one of the longest of the playoffs. We did see Ashnod hit the, the street at, in Swagger Center, but we didn't get the measurement on it. What a start for Lazy, Dwayne. Oh, wow. What an insane home run there. Lazy just put that one out into the center field, like you said, off the rock. Just a huge, huge home run there. Now he's up 4-1 to one with no outs in the first inning. And Ashnod just completely unable to solve the Jackals so far. He is going to get an out here unless Jackson misfires. She doesn't. So finally... Finally, the ERA uh, gets a number assigned to it. It was infinite. Yeah, now it's going down to 99. <laughs> yeah, not that 99-99 is any better. As this one is going to continue the inning. A double into the gap, presumably. Waters gets it back in. It will be a double. Yeah, and as and, I was uh, saying, uh, yeah. 
I was just going to say before the home run, some of the speed. Uh, shout out to Light Snack last night mentioning the speed of this Jackals team. That's making a big difference uh, on quite a few of these hits, even early in this game, as we see. Yeah, probably the biggest key difference between the Blues and the Jackals. Uh, Ashna dumped a lot of points into power into the hitting stats as this one shakes back the runner. It was on a first good play there from Ash to get the out. Ashna dumping a lot of stats into his lineup, whereas Lazy, you know, choosing to supplement a little bit on the other areas of his game. And like you said, speed being a big one. Yeah, indeed. He's just choosing to uh, benefit different aspects of his game. These two, like like you said, just two different archetypes, really, of great player. It's very interesting to see how they tried to strengthen, strengthen their own teams as that one is smashed into left field. Yeah, up, just uh, just missing it there was Normus. Lazy going with the contact swing on two strikes. That's something you will see him do from time to time. So a four-run inning for the Jackals. Ashnod back to work. And if he wants to avoid the disastrous results that he achieved or failed to achieve last night, he needs to keep scoring here. Lazy mercying both games last night. Yeah, indeed. He's got to keep it moving, try and cut some of this three-run deficit away. Back-to-back -back hits is, you know, being well on your way to doing it. He's just got to stay fortunate and stay on top of the ball here. Yeah, good back-to-back -back rips there from Ash. The tying run will bat. It's always a possibility to tie the game with one swing when you're Ash Dodd's coupon. Single-season all-time record holder for home runs. The Rookie of the Year winner. Elmore James strikes out, though, on 102 miles an hour. A wild fastball there from Lazy, but just too hot for Ash to handle. Yeah, couldn't catch up to it there. He's got a lot of speed on that fastball. Does Lazy with Daydream Lullaby, you know, being an SP, RP, uh, reaching 102 miles per hour. So really got to catch up to it there. That one outside, and it, it is off the glove of Kim Toe. That will allow two runners to reach scoring position. Not a lot of speed, though, as we said, Ash, not favoring speed builds. That one popped into shallow center. Wacky Wanda definitely would have a play if Ash not challenges. He does not. Not deep enough. Yeah, good job holding up there. Not enough speed at all with the arm on Wanda. He's got to get a hit here with two outs. Potential for Lazy to slam the door on the rally. That would be big. But he will need an out. Muddy Waters, the leadoff hitter. Takes high. 30th pitch from Lullaby coming in. Hit hard. That is up the... No, it is caught by Normus. Has the time. What a play there from the second baseman. I thought for sure that was into center field. Yeah, he just stole a runaway there for sure. Maybe even two. Uh, Lazy getting it done just with a great dive. Well timed by the second baseman, Normus, and just getting out of the inning. Uh, he's he's going to move on here to... Have a big chance to hit. Oh. Ooh. Loud Larry looking to get loud. He does into center field. The Jackals strike again. Yeah, Lazy took that right where it was pitched and just yoinked it out there for 430 feet of home run. That was a great hit by Loud Larry. And now rattled as Hooker has only achieved three outs in this game. The lineup will turn over Wacky Wanda only hitting 889. <laughs> in, these, in, yeah, in this series outside pitch trait on this batter John Lee Hooker <laughs> blows that one past wow. him Lazy just missed that yeah a little challenge pitch there from Hooker and Ash has seen enough he knows the stakes of this game he will go to Willie Dixon Wanda perhaps going to go to contact here we will see it's a change up and it misses so another walk, or not another walk, but a walk here. Another base runner. Rolling ham now. Swings through. Here we go. Force Wacky Wanda with a lot of speed at first. Way early on the change. One of Ash's better pitches there. Good sequence. And then the 1-2. Misses for the 2-2 two -two count. That one hit hard, though. The center field. Another contact swing is going to hang up. And Ash makes the catch. Lazy's definitely getting bats to ball well, though. Uh, we've already seen Ash dip into this bullpen. Lazy's being really selective early in this game, and it's paying off. That one off his hands, though, it's going to go foul. But, yeah, that the, the good eye paying off big time here for Lazy. 
Juicy Jones can't catch up with that. Looked like maybe Miss Reticle as well. And now Willie Dixon in an 0-2 favorable count misses with the change. That one, oh, I thought maybe it would paint the corner. It doesn't. So now a 2-2, runner going. That one, he strikes him out on it anyway. But Wacky Wanda into second. Yeah, good push by Ash now to finish up the strikeout, but Wanda way too good of a jump and way too much speed to even make that a contest to second base. Still a big obstacle here for Ash with Kim Toe at the plate. Hits that one. Will it find the hole? No, Mavis Staples makes a nice diving catch. She is a player we've seen in these playoffs that has uh, not looked great at times, but she looks great there. Yeah, she has not looked great at times, but at other moments she's also really uh, cleaned it up in the field. Just a player that's really drawn a lot of attention to herself as uh, Ashnod lightly grounds out over to second base. Four out number one. But yeah, Mavis Staples, someone who is a, a linchpin in this, this Blues offense and defense. Quickly two outs here. Soft contact followed by hard. Lazy putting a lid on Ash, not only in this game so far, but has done a pretty good job of it in the rest of the series. Ash has not been able to answer on the mound. That one is ripped. Out to left field. Rolling ham. Whoa. Dives and makes an excellent catch on the warning track. What a play. Wow. The timing on that dive was impeccable. Rolling ham. I think Lazy did play the outfield deep there. So everything was just done yeah. well there by Lazy with on the defense. You know, good placement of the fielders and rolling ham with the great uh, timing on the dive. Yeah, and why not play deep against a guy like Ashnod who hits the ball hard, I'd say, you know, something like four times more often, maybe more, than he hits it soft. That one hit hard to the wall, but Rolling Ham able to make the play. Defensive play of the game so far. And that one is going to be a walk. It, it just It's just a theme you can't ignore. The pitching from Ashnod's coupon, just even with all that accuracy, he has more accuracy than the average player, as this one is going to be a... a ground out he has more accuracy than the average xbl player it just it doesn't seem to be working out yeah indeed he's, he's not able to find the zone um too often especially early in this one lazy with a really good eye like i was saying earlier on he just works counts and sees pitches uh, even a hair off the edge of the strike zone so you really have to be pinpoint with your location and try and get him to fish on things that are either in the strike zone or very close to being in the strike zone and, and ash mount's not been having great luck there Goes for the tag, can't get it. Oh. And does not get the play at first. Wow, the speed, big there down the line. Yeah, that's an awful break, and that, that extra speed in this Jackals team paying off there. We'll see if Lazy can turn it into a punishment. He absolutely will. That is going to score a run. 6-1 Jackals, and still more potential for scoring here with Loud Larry, who went yard in his previous at-bat. Over eager there was Lazy, swings through the change. 100 miles an hour still, with even with the diminished velocity. And then another good change. Sticking with the contact swing is Loud Larry. It is right at Elmore James. So a big second out. Wacky Wanda now to the plate. Curveball just misses. A good fastball evens the count. Now a 1-1 inside. Willie Dixon falls behind here. Not the batter you want to do that to. Full count. We'll see if Lazy sends the runners. He does. Contact swing foul. Runners will go again. Merry go round. Yeah, Lazy's still showing off that eye and just being so selective here. Yeah, shows it off there. It's another walk. The inning will continue for Rolling Ham. Ooh, what a tough break. A blister for Willie Dixon. However, his, you know, his stats were really starting to diminish. Lazy is going to convert two more here. Runner will go first to third as well. It is eight to one Jackals. And suddenly, Dwayne Juicy Jones represents the winning run. Yeah, this is getting ugly and fast for Ashnod and the Blues. He's got to put a lid on this one. The rally has officially begun, and Jones does not miss it. He hits a single, and it gets past oh, the no, right it gets fielder. Past him. Two are going to score. We'll see how far Juicy Jones pushes it. It'll be a triple. Two outs now. The winning run at third. This could be three mercies in a row for the Jackals. Kim To represents that chance. Hit oh. hard. If it finds grass, the game is over. It will. The Jackals, oh. the Tokyo Jackals, take a 3 to nothing lead in the World Series. They're going to play game four here soon, and Lazy 
Could this be the night he becomes the champion? It's tough to say, Weaver. I mean, he's looked great through these three games. Uh, tonight here in game three, he's just absolutely done his job once again. Ashnod's unable to, to keep up in the foot race and, and score. Uh, Lazy's just being so efficient at the plate with such a good eye, and he's, he's working counts and getting all the runs when he needs them, and Ashnod just can't keep up. Yeah, just unable to keep up. We're seeing the crazy rally innings from Lazy, and we know that Ashnod is certainly capable of them himself, but just unable to, to even give himself the time. The pitching just not there. Yeah, it's just not there. It's it's really a tough break for him, you know, in the in the uh, in the event of the way these mercies work um, due to the advent of all online leagues in the XBL and in this game. Now, you know, for everything to be cross platform, but uh, the rules are what they are in that aspect. That's out of our control. Uh, that's that's on the uh, the developers with that one. But right, it's hard right. for him to even keep up. Either way, he's not able to work the counts like Lazy is, and he's not able to really uh, make things happen in the way that Lazy's making them happen. We saw it from Ashnod in the um, in the previous series in the semifinal where he scored so many runs versus Light Snack, but uh, he was not able to do so in the first three games of this series, not able to make that magic happen and find those rallies. Um, they have queued in to Sakura Hills, so they're going to back out. Uh, to get Ashnod's home stadium in Swagger Center. They Swagger should, Center, yep. They should be good on the next requeue, so we'll just make sure everyone has the right starting pitcher going in there. And uh, we'll have game four with Lazy's chance to win the World Series coming at you in just a moment. Yep, Lazy looking for the sweep to win the XBL World Series in his first season. This, uh, this, this great league in its eighth season, but all previous seven occurring only on Xbox. But now with the advent of online leagues and cross-platform capabilities, the league has expanded to allow players uh, from PC and even one uh, on PlayStation, shout out Half Onion, to join the league. And, uh, and as a result, we've got two PC players here in the finals, the two that we all predicted. But, uh, you know, Dwayne, I don't know if I would have predicted that it would be so one-sided. We saw these two play in the off-season tournament back in July, and that game was uh, was all ash shot, all over lazy, thirty-three to something, thirty-three to fifteen. I want to say was the score. Yeah, indeed, uh, that was one of the more insane games I've ever watched and I've ever seen you call. Uh, that was that was through and through a slugfest, and just yeah. And we saw even in that final match of the week going into this this playoffs. Um, that they were able to keep up with each other and put up the big innings, but Ashnod's been unable to put a lid on Lazy early as we await the first pitch here of game number four between these teams. Howlin' Wolf tasked with beginning what may feel like impossible to some, but you know Ashnod believes in himself. This one is going to go as a leadoff hit. Wacky Wanda seemingly could do no wrong in this series. Yeah, there's only one way now for Ash to get this done, and that's a reverse sweep. Um, and, and it starts, you know, really in this first inning. That one popped. It's going to go foul. And I'll ask you, Dwayne, uh, because you've been around the block, whereas I'm, I'm new. Oh, wow, that was actually catchable. I did not think it was. Uh, do you know if the best of seven reverse sweep has ever occurred in the XBL? Is this one is going to go for a double? Uh, not to my knowledge. If I'm re recalling incorrectly, chat will definitely let us know. But um, to my okay. knowledge... I uh, haven't done the research as of late, but that has not occurred. That is, a, you know, a monumentous moment. Either way, if it can or has occurred, but I don't believe it has. All right, so Lazy already up to a 2 nothing start. This is just not what you want to see if you're rooting for the Chicago Blues. Backs to the wall already, Series 3 nothing. Yeah, he's Lazy. got to find an out here. Kim Toe swinging through that changeup. Howlin' Wolf surrenders that one. Is that going to clear the wall in left field? Jumping. It is off the top of the wall. The Wood Blues gets it back in. The merry-go-round continues. Dwayne, this is looking like it's like what's going to change here? It's just looking like the other three games. And if that's the case, we're looking at another short one, and we're looking at a new champion. Yeah, the only thing that, that can change is Ashnod has to be able to score in his half. He has to be able to make this competitive right off the bat in the first inning. 
And uh, it's looking pretty dire right now with these runners on and Lazy just hit after hit continues to pile on here. He gets another single and the run comes across the lead, stretches to four to nothing. Four nothing already. Nobody out. Disastrous start again. As that one is ripped. Dead center. Back is Waters, but this one will actually die on the track. He gets it back in. Lazy with the good base running to go for third, but it's going to be close. He's safe. Okay, here we go, Ashnog. He's got an out now. Let's see what he can do here. He's got to put a lid on this. He will not do it on that batter, however. It's ripped up the middle. Five to nothing. Lazy already halfway to the requisite 10 runs to potentially mercy your opponent. Good pitch there on Loud Larry. And you almost have to wonder what happened. Oh, as Lazy's going to go for the double steal, and he will easily get it. Yeah, that, Big play. That takes away the double play opportunity. Ashnon should work for the walk here. Uh-oh. Lazy hits that one. Dead center towards center field. It is gone. Eight to nothing. The Jackals lead in the first. Wow, this is not the way Ashnod wanted to start this ball game. Uh, he's got a mountain to climb here at, at this this series deficit, and now this run deficit in the first inning. It's it's looking easy for Lazy up there right now. Batting 900 is Wacky Wanda. She would love to get on base here and bring that all important tenth run to the plate. The one two from Ash misses. Ashnod just got to be feeling like he's been kicked in the gut here. Because that one will reach some grass. Wacky Wanda represents the ninth run. And the tenth run will come to the plate, potentially. It'll be rolling ham. No home runs yet in this short series. But in Lazy's lineup, anyone can hit him. Good speed on first. Howlin' Wolf desperately looking for a strikeout here, and he will get it. Good fastball there. Ties up Lazy. And uh, maybe a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel to get out of this disastrous first inning. But he needs one more out. Yes, he does. He's got to stop this from getting any worse. And he gets a line out here to right. It's going to be the, the end of the Nightmare First for Ashnod. The Nightmare First does end, but like you just said, Ash must score here. The way Lazy's been hitting, it just seems like he's not going to be held in check seemingly ever. Well, Larry's going to have to collect this one off the wall. It can't do it cleanly, but it's going to be a single either way. All right, so decent start for the Blues against Yosai Yish. Yep, Yosai Yish to Jake Blues. Decent speed on first. Waters is the leadoff batter. I don't believe there's anyone much faster than him on this slow team but everyone in the lineup sporting excellent raw power 3-0 and count now that fastball is actually going to miss a four pitch walk and not entirely what you want to do if you're lazy of course you have massive cushion but you don't want to give ash free outs or free base runners rather yeah indeed and he's having trouble finding the zone he finally gets a strike here but ash is looking for his pitch didn't like that one. Now a 1-2 change misses. He must start to keep pace here. Count is going to run full. The pitch to Blues. Ooh. Popped foul. That was, ball that was a good pitch. Yeah. Got Ash to chase a little bit. This fastball away blows him away. 101 miles an hour. Big strikeout for Lazy. Now Thomas Dorsey. Most dangerous hitter in the lineup, but in these playoffs, we haven't really seen him be the one to carry the offense. Perhaps, you know, there's a psychological effect when you have a 99-99 player like Dorsey to overreach. Ooh. That one ripped foul. Just late as Ashnod there. This change is going to catch a lot of zone, but it fools Ashnod, who was looking heat. Lazy exhales on the mislocation. Yeah, he's able to just... Get him there early, and he's going to get out of the jam with the line out. Big third out. Wow. Back-to-back -back leadoff batters reaching there. Looked like Ash was going to try to keep pace, but instead it's still 8 to nothing. Ashland must put up a big zero here. 
But he falls behind. 3-0 and to Kim To. And he walks him on four pitches. Again, the 10th run, or the potential 10th run will bat. And that one ripped Ooh. through the hole. Staples cannot have it. First two have reached. It's just looking like another rally inning. Yeah, Ash needs to find a way out of this now. He's going to opt to leave the rattled Howlin' Wolf in here after the back-to-back -back hits. Oof, this That's is getting really nasty. That's really trying to get some length. Yeah, it, uh, the potential to get even worse is here. Snappy pop at the plate. And he finds himself in a great count. A 3-1 pitch will come. And it's high. The paces are loaded with nobody out. Uh-oh. If you're Ashnod, I mean, this is just getting painful. Ooh, he finds a strike there. Yeah, good strike there. Helen Wolf delivers. That is foul. Kid K. Big opportunity here. The 1 2. Just low. It's got to come to Kid K here. And he does. Strikes her out. That pitch may have been a bit out of the zone, but it does fool Lazy there. Big out. Yeah, don't discount Ash here. He's, he could find a way out of this. He's just got to be, you know, crafty and, and get, the, get the contact he needs. Yeah. Or strike out. reach back. Definitely looking for a ground ball here. Finds himself ahead, though. Pitch from Wolf. That one up the middle. One run will score. Lazy going to send the second runner. No, he will hold him back. Score remains 9 0. Okay. How much longer can you possibly give Wolf? Yeah, he's teetering on the edge here. He's got, got to bring in Albertina Walker. Walker blows the first pitch past Loud Larry. And now a 1 1 pitch. It's going to be a heater. It catches the zone. 102. That one just misses. Walker looking to get off to a good start and keep the game in check. That one ripped off the glove of the third base woman. One run will score. Ahalia Jackson unable to glove it. And Dwayne, we're in that territory now. It's 10 to nothing. Yeah, Ashnod's going to have to score in the bottom half, but he still needs to find his way out of this. As he does get, looks like the, the double play he needs to get out of this inning. Wow, so, yes. So he's got to score now. It can't end here for Ashnod. Ashnod going to desperately try and get that one run. If he does not, if he does not score at all in this second inning, the XBL will have its new champion. His back could not be any more pressed against the wall. Lazy sensing victory will go to his ace reliever pack-a-punch. Submarine delivery. That one ripped up the middle. A good start for Ash. Looking to keep pace. Yeah, it's a big start for him. Any base runner is a good base runner here. Just just no outs. A good take there. Mavis Staples, second baseman. Takes the fastball low and away. That one popped up. Rolling Ham ha says he has a play on it, and he does. Big first out there for Lazy. Not what Ashnod wanted at all. Now Elmore James, one of the final hopes potentially here. That one is high. James hits that one. It's soft. Out to Ham. Ooh. Ham makes the play over his head. Almost a sketchy play there. One more to go for Lazy. BB King pops it up. Left field. Will it find some seat and extend the at-bat? It will. Oh, crush that one. Center field. This game will play on. Ashnod on the board. <sighs> oh, I, I, I can. Act. I'm <laughs> exhaling. I don't know about you guys, yeah. but this game <laughs> remains, you know, in intact here for Ashnod. Yeah, Blues fans exhale. Season not over yet. Lazy looking to get back to work. If he can find another out here, that one. Over to Normus. But Ashnod gets the two runs there. He only needed the one, but he got two. He must put a lid on Lazy now, and a good start here. This out should be caught. Yes, it is. 
Yeah, I'm not sure what this game can bring us now. This this has the feeling of of almost anything can happen really to me. And and this game four, I, it has broken open. You know that the both the starters are already out here in the top of the third. This is this is pretty crazy stuff. Yeah, yeah, that could be something to look at. Is this is gonna be the second out? Good start for Ash. That that could be something to look at. Lazy gambling there in the second inning, taking out his starter to go and try and shut the door but he failed so we'll see if he if the game does go late we'll see how that plays into it with the diminished bullpen now kim to with two outs three oh we'll see if he pulls the trigger he does not another walk yeah he didn't go to kim to with a strike there good eye expressed by lazy Ooh, can't catch up to 101 so ash not going after kit kat doing all right so far what a pitch. Good pitch there from Ash. That will end the inning. And I was going to say it earlier, I didn't get a chance, but it almost feels like if Ash could just get 1-0 on the board finally, it might open the door for him to swing momentum back. We'll see what he does. Yeah, he's got an eye of his own. He can really take some pitches, work counts, just as good as Lazy, sometimes if not better, um, as we yeah. see him take three balls right there. So let's see what he can do. Not swinging 3-0. It was a good fastball. This one going to run wild, but it's right in the zone. Ashnod just pops it up. I, I almost can't believe that. Yeah, it's a tough break. He yeah. must have got just underneath of that. Normally, you see him crush those. Uh, so, tough first out in this third. He's got Blues now with the high pitch. Pack a punch. Going to attack the high pitch zone. It results in a single for Ashnod. So a good piece of hitting there. Now Thomas Dorsey to the plate. See how much longer Ash can draw out Pack-a-Punch. Rips that one. Pop, though, has a play. Like, wow, that was hit a million miles an hour. Yeah, that was a stinger. Big uh, luck in positioning there for Lazy for his shortstop to be there to make that catch. That one to center field. Wanda dives, makes the play. That will shut the door on the inning. That will give Lazy another opportunity to hit. Yeah, but Ashnod seems to have found somewhat of an approach here, at least for the for the time being. So uh, the ebb and flow of this game in is changing. You know, you can feel the vibe uh, yeah. a bit more locked down. Let's see if uh, things can keep up here for Ash. Yeah, definitely not feeling entirely like the previous three. Because this one is going to be the first batter retired. Now Kid K. Albertina Walker has done a decent job since coming in. She's going to get two quick outs here. Maybe Ash tapping into something after hitting that home run. Indeed, he needs some some rallying on the offensive side to try and climb back. The deficit still is at eight runs, but he's doing a great job at getting after Lazy here, getting him to swing at a few pitches that you want him to swing at just like that. And three good outs here from Ashnod. And this top of the fourth, Lazy remains scoreless there. Yeah, back to back scoreless innings for Ash. Just what he needed, but he also needs to hit more and narrow that eight run lead so he doesn't have to constantly worry about the threat of a mercy. Good start there with the leadoff single. One swing can really add a lot of comfort for Ash, so he's just looking for his pitch. Looking for his pitch. Should get something to hit here on 2 0. That fastball going to go up and in. Ash doesn't miss it. It's towards that right center field gap. It'll hit off the tall wall. Ash going to go first to third here. We'll see if he challenges home. Smartly, I believe, he does not. But the rally continues. Yeah, two runners in scoring position. Still very favorable if he gets a hit here for them to score. Now Elmore James, hitless in the series. Swings at that one. It's foul. Now a strike away from potentially a strikeout. A big strikeout that Lazy would like. That change is going to miss. Punch pitch count. Very high. Yeah, the 32nd pitch is just high. What a take from Ash. Now a full count. That pitch popped up. Rolling ham. Trailing deep. See if Ashton wants to go for the sack fly. He does. Runner coming home. The throw from ham is not in time. Ashton gets another back. Yeah, nice job being a little risky there. He doesn't have the fastest lineup, uh, as we've stated many times over, but he gets it done with the runner from third and getting over to uh, third base from second there as well. So 
Both runners move up, the run scores, and he's got a big chance with one out here. BB King hits that one up the middle. That will be the fourth run for the Blues. A little bit of breathing room, like you were saying. Yeah, as things, you know, creep closer, this starts to feel more and more dangerous, you know, and, and, and you see that pendulum possibly swinging. We've seen I Tiger yeah. come out of the pen very quickly there for Lazy. Uh, he's and, and the, relieved yeah, pack of this punch. Was, uh, this was a pitcher in the Match of the Week series these two played that Ash had no trouble with. Both of his late comebacks, I believe, being staged against this pitcher. Just changes his timing a bit. But he looks at that fork ball. What a pitch from I Tiger. What a pitch indeed. That fork ball just catching the top of the zone. So well placed from Lazy there. Ash not able to do nothing with it. Lifts that one. Foul. Looks like it'll get down, and it does. So that's just a strike. Jake Blues hits that one hard. Will Normus make the play? He will. So the Jackals put that inning to rest. They do give up two. We got ourselves a little bit more of a ball game now. But wasting no time is lazy. That hits the chalk. It's into the corner. That will be a leadoff double. Yeah, it's the first big hit in a little while off of uh, Albertina there, Walker. Uh, so big leadoff double indeed for Lazy. Ooh, but late with Wanda on that first pitch. He's trying to jump out for some more runs after that deficit got shortened by Ash. What a diving play, though, by Mahalia Jackson. Excellent play there. And firing it to second, an inaccurate throw, but it would not have made a difference if she hadn't thrown it in the dirt. Lazy getting back. You don't see a whole lot of defensive gems from Ash, but we saw one there, and it could pay off big if he can hold this this deficit where it is. That one over to James. Goes to first. Lazy was willing to surrender third or potentially trigger a rundown. But in any case, it's the second out. Yeah, big there from Ash just to get an out, and he's going to get on the first pitch a grounder, so ends up not being in play there either way. Big couple of outs for Ash, trying to creep back into this one. Yeah, Lazy one out away from crowning himself the Season 8 champion. He gave up the home run, and all of a sudden it's a six-run ball game. This could make it a five-run ball game. We'll see oh, how wow, far carrying. it travels. Left center field, Wanda leaps! It is going off the top of the wall and over! What right as I was run. saying that, Ashton gets one back. Yep. Creeping indeed. Just making it a shorter and shorter deficit. That one hitting the top of the wall. Impressive. That one had some carry yeah. to it. At first, I didn't think there was any way it was getting out, but it just kept going and going and going. And Ashton not done yet. Strokes that one yep. into the gap. Like I said, Ashton just not too fooled by this pitcher with the 99 junk. Back to back extra base hits. Chicago down 3 0 in the series, but if there is anybody that could be down 3-0 to Lazy and potentially make the incredible comeback, you would have to think it's this guy, Ashnod's coupon. Yeah, you're forgetting the, the other part where he was down 10 runs in the second inning of this one with, with one out and his back right. against the wall to a mercy <laughs> as well. Yeah. So just out of that little bit of pressure too for Ashnod. And, and here he is getting it done so far. He's cut the deficit in half from, from 10 runs to, to 5. And he's doing some great work here with no outs. Gonna see this curveball loop in, and he takes it. What a good pitch from Lazy to get the first out. Start to get the ball rolling back in his favor. But it'll be Mahalia Jackson. 857 batting average so far. Probably the highest on the Blues. The equivalent of uh, Lazy's wacky Wanda. Wow, just missing there. 3-0, and Lazy. Gonna try and nibble here with a curve. It's in the zone. Jackson doesn't miss it. That will drop in front of Wanda. Ashnod held up between second and third. So to go, there will be no RBI. No play at the plate. Potentially thinking Lazy was going to dive and catch it. See if it matters. Or if Ashnod can put the run in. Kid K dives. Throws the second. Pop has to get back to first. Not in time. Ashnod gets another on the fielder's choice. Yeah, nice job there. Not the most conventional way for the Blues to score that they're used to, but getting it done. That one's over the head of Normus at second base, so Ashnod with another hit uh, just as quick on the first pitch there. But yeah, Ashnod getting it done on the fielder's choice with the run as well. This isn't over with uh, two outs here in the fifth. Not over by a long shot with BB King, one of his favorite hitters, even in the nine hole. I believe it was BB King who, who hit a game-tying homer off of I Tiger in the match Whoa. of the week set. 
Yeah, that one. Violent off the bat. Takes that one. One swing of the bat could make it a one-run game. Pitch from Tiger will be a curve. It'll catch some zone. King drives it. Center field. Wanda was playing deep. She has it. That will end the inning. But another two-run inning. That's been the increment that Ashnod has been scoring in in this game. Yeah, just piece by piece. He's doing great. He's keeping lazy where he's been at since the second inning. So, you know, we thought this was going to end in disaster very quickly for Ashnod, and he's showing us yeah. that. You know, pressure, even with that amount of pressure on, he's able to get it done. This is very impressive of a comeback, you know, no matter what happens here from him in this game to be in the sixth inning right now. Albertina Walker's day is done. She did a tremendous job keeping this uh, the, the Jackals' offense in check. They haven't scored in a few innings. Willie Dixon, the specialist now, falls behind, but then blows that one past Kit Kat. That one way out of the zone. Ashton missing wildly. Now a 3-1. Misses. Another walk. Not what you want to do here. Yeah, no free base runners. Anyone, you know, on base for lazy is dangerous because there's a, a certain amount of speed in that lineup that makes a big difference in this series so far as we've seen. And uh, now we've got Snappy Pop-Up. He's batting well at 600. Lazy's definitely looking to add on here. Looking to add on... We'll need to fight out of this two-strike count. Fights it off. Switching to contact here. Just looking to poke one. Snappy pop. Way early on the changeup. Good pitch from Ashnod. That's a big second out. Yeah, big second out indeed. Good sequence there from Ash, and the high changeup gets lazy very, very early. Now a 1-1 one, one count. Decent speed at first. Kid K. Diminished stats thanks to the specialist trait. Hits that one hard. Can Ash make the play? He will. Another diving catch from Staples. What a play. Yeah, she's been amazing, you know, throughout the season and playoffs as Staples. Like I said, a fair uh, few of high profile mistakes, but wow, ooh, that one just missed by Ash on the first pitch. Into the tunnel. Muddy Waters almost making it a 10 to 7 game. Ashnod, you can see, just chomping at the bit to hit this low velo pitcher, but he's way early there. Lazy going to go back to that curveball. It just misses. Going to try a similar pitch, but inside it also misses. And now a change up, up in the zone. Ashnod hits it foul. Going to go with potential. No, going to go with the curve. I believe he missed it, however. Yes, it will be a leadoff walk. Good eye. Yeah, good eye exhibited by Ash there. So he's got that leadoff base runner. Like we said last inning, no free base runners. Lazy's got to feel the same thing, you know, because Ash has that huge, huge power threat. As that one, wow, caught by Normus and over to first. It is not oh. handled by Kid K. Lazy rushing the throwback to first, and that resulted in an er a throwing error. Kid K can't pick it out of the dirt. He had a lot of time, I believe, you know, a throw, probably just an average throw, gets him there. Instead, Elwood Blues bats with the runner aboard. That one hit hard, right at Kid K. Ashnod back to the base. Yeah, so a quick out there, so fortunate for Lazy. Ash has now two outs to deal with. He has to get through Thomas Dorsey. 99 power, 99 contact. That one dribbled over to Normus. They do retire Dorsey. The Jackals with some good pitching there. First time in a couple innings they've held Ash. Yeah, good job by Lazy to get that soft contact. And on the first pitch, he doesn't, you know, miss their big extra base hit. Yeah, we saw that a few innings ago, or a couple innings ago. Lazy with the leadoff double. Ash held him in that inning. So we'll see if he can do it again. Lazy looking to score the first time in a while. Yeah, way good back. speed out there. I was going to say, yeah. way back in the second inning was when he last scored that uh, that tenth run where we felt that, that mercy pressure. Yeah. And he strikes out there, 101 miles an hour. Looked like a bit of indecision there. Big out for Ash. But now the lineup will turn over. Granted, I feel like with Lazy, it almost doesn't matter who's batting. He can hit with anybody. 
Indeed, and the way he's constructed his lineup, he's got some some very solid hitters throughout, especially in that nine hole usually. So, ooh, big strikeout though again from Ashnot. The timing on these pitches and the velocity is doing a great job. Yeah, doing a good job of sequencing. He strikes him out there way early on the changeup. Lazy has a pretty good bench. He will elect to hold off on using it for now. That one ripped into the gap. Did the choice pay off? Ash catches it with Jake Blues. I thought maybe he had to dive. Ashton made the right call. Yeah, indeed. I didn't. I thought he was going to have to dive as well, but he took a good route, and he knew where he was uh, in relation to that ball, and he made a great catch. Lazy sticking with I Tiger. Almost no spat stats to speak of. A little bit of junk left. Gets the first out. Weak contact off the bat of Ashnod. Mahalia Jackson, however, does not achieve weak contact. That is a single up the middle. Yeah, it's another hit from Mahalia. Her average just keeping, you know, keep on climbing closer to 1,000. Can't be perfect, but it's it's definitely close. Now Mavis Staples. A 1-1 one, one count. Lazy trying to dig some extra outs out of I Tiger. Remember, he went to pack a punch very early, sensing the mercy. It did pay off. Trying to bridge the gap to his final two relievers. This curve hit hard by Ash up the middle. I Tiger, lucky that didn't take his head off. Yeah, and you have to think going back to that inning where Lazy took out the starting pitcher, that has to be one of the more interesting decisions, uh, perhaps in an XBL World Series and XBL history overall. Uh, in, in a yeah. series like this, it's just it was it was Lazy trying to shut the door, and with two outs, he wasn't able to get it done. And and now look, he's got to burn these pitchers, and this game is closer than you might have thought at that time. Yeah, he'll go to Little Lackey, who strikes out the Ashnod batter on three pitches, all looking. Wow. Yeah, went right after him. Great aggression from Lazy there. Has a chance to get out of this, maintaining the four-run lead. BB King against Lackey. That is outside. Another fastball, also outside, and now a 3-1 count. Lock prone, so not a lot of accuracy. That fastball blows it past them. Runners will go. It'll be a changeup. Ashnod way early. Got him. Breaks his bat. Does BB King. What a pitch. Yeah, great job by Lazy. He only had two pitches to work with the fastball and the changeup on Little Lackey, and he used them to his advantage there, just setting him up with the fastball. And Ash with the runners going very eager to try and get something, make something happen there, just swing way early on that change. Closing pitcher, Willie Big Eyes Smith now. Yeah. And that one ooh. ripped by Juicy Jones off of the bench into right center field, but Jake Blues runs it down. Second play in short succession where Blues has made a nice ranging catch. Yeah, indeed. Another one I thought definitely had the potential to fall out there. Now Kim To, the catcher, ripped. Center field. Ashnod back. Makes the catch. I thought maybe for a second that had some elevation. It died out there, though. And another rip, but right at Jackson. How many score this innings in a row? That's, what, six from yeah, Ashton? Must Great be, job from him to recover. Yeah, it must be six. He's, he's doing an insane job here, just getting through outs, and he's creep. He's crept back, you know, pretty close here. He's got to do something. Now he's only got a few outs to work with as he strikes out again in this eighth inning. Uh, so now he's only got five to work with. This, you know, Lazy's facing a potential chance to win the World Series right now. Ash has to get it done. Rolling Ham almost misplays that. And Little Lackey has come in and thrown some gas. Locked in is Little Lackey. Her 15th pitch will be a swing and a miss. Elwood Blues almost takes that one for a strike, but it's a ball. This change is going to run wild. It's a ball. The pitch from Lackey on 3-1 and one. in the dirt. That is a base runner given to Ashnod. It'll bring up Dorsey. You would think with, with two outs, if he can just cut that lead in half, that would be a bit of pressure removed. You don't want to leave it all to the ninth if you're going to make a comeback. But Little Lackey, one strike away. From shutting the door in the eighth. Just misses. Wow. But that one will catch the zone. Little Lackey shuts the door in the eighth. The Tokyo Jackals, three defensive outs away from a championship. This is big now. Ashnod has to keep this where it is to 
to give himself a decent chance in that bottom of the ninth inning. So, Willie Big Eyes Smith, ooh, giving up a leadoff single here. That one is hit into the gap. Money Walters will handle it well. So, yeah, the, the single will be uh, a leadoff variety for Lazy. Let's yeah. see what Kid K can do in, you know, looking for an insurance run. Big Eyes Smith desperately going to try and keep it right here. That one oh. leaping, but not be able to make the catch is the shortstop. Lazy thought he would catch it, so he went back. He'll be first and second. And you know Lazy really thinking about insurance here. If there's anyone that could possibly come back in the ninth down four, it's his opponent, Ashnod. Yeah, that was big there for Lazy. Uh, that jump from Ashnod shortstop just not well-timed. Uh, not sure if he had it either way if he didn't jump, but unfortunate there it just goes right past him Yeah, it was one of those tricky angles where you're not entirely certain which way you need to go Lazy it's that one hard Rogue Reed I believe his first at bat in the series that one hit to the shortstop James makes the play. That's the first out That one hit. Third base woman can't catch it. That is down the line. That will score one at least. Lazy going to send him in. Going to hold the other runner. No. No, he's thinking about it. Staples throws home and he goes back. All right. So not the worst outcome for Ash there. It's only one run. Uh-oh. That is possibly the worst outcome. Is that is likely going to fall and it will. It is off the wall. One run scores. Two runs score. The Jackals lead 13-6. to six. Yeah, not what you want to see if you're Ash. Uh, big deficit now. It's moved to seven runs he's facing in this ninth inning. Uh, he has to find a way to get two more outs here, give himself this final chance in this World Series. Not going to give himself a chance there. That is into the gap. It'll score another. The score will be 14-6. to six. <clears throat> Jackals fans, it it's, uh, it's starting to look like celebration time. Of course, anything can happen. But this lead just keeps growing. Right. The World Series, that was predicted by many. This one into left field. That's a single. It's going to score another. The Jackals lead by nine. Ashnod had done such an excellent job holding Lazy after the second inning. But big ups to Lazy, who did his job to suppress the rally and keep it where it, where it was. Yeah, indeed, and now he's got this lead stretched all the way out to nine again, but Mercy avoided either way. We're in the ninth inning. He's going to keep trying to stretch, though. Lazy stealing up here big. Moves that runner over with two outs. Kit Kat batting now. Again, Jackals lead by nine here. They've scored five times in this ninth. Buddy Guy out of the pen for the Blues. I believe the last man. That one ripped towards that bullpen. Leaping. It is off the top of the wall. That will be another run. The lead was once 10. It is now 10 again. Yeah, and here we go. Lazy not done yet. Ooh, but it hits it right at Elmore James. So this is it. Ashnod staring down the barrel of a 10-run deficit and a loss here in game four of this World Series. Lazy looking for the sweep to win it all. 18 teams, 34 games apiece, and a month of playoffs or so has all led to this. Ashnod must score 10 times to keep the season alive. Lazy gets hard contact there. Ham Choi dives the defensive replacement, doesn't make the play, so the leadoff batter will reach. That's what you want. You, you just can't hit into outs if you want to score 10 times. Yeah, indeed. So a good start for Ashnod. Lazy looking as well to become the first ever PC champion in the in the history of the cross-platform baseball league. Every All previous champions being Xbox because the exclusivity there. That one is going to be the first out of the inning. Two to go for the Jackals. Mavis Staples. Cool Schmuel, last man out of the pen for the Jackals. The closer. Delivers a fastball past the bat of Ashnod. No doubt the nerves flying on both sides. Ashnod hits that one hard right at Snappy Pop. 
one to go. Elmore James versus Cool Schmuel. Swing and a miss. James hits it hard. Down to his final strike is Ashna. The pitch. Struck him out! The Tokyo Jackals stand alone at the top of the Super Mega Baseball World. Lazy Season 8 champion. Wow. Congratulations to Lazy. Uh, so well fought by Ashnod this season, but like you said, Lazy standing alone as the cross-platform baseball league uh, world champion. What what more can be said? He did it in in any way that you know you thought Lazy would. Just so so well done. Big congratulations to Lazy and his Tokyo Jackals. They are the season eight champion in his rookie season. Like you said, the first ever PC player to win a championship here in that what is now the cross-platform baseball league. And of course, uh, a big thank you and, and props to Ashton's coupon who made it this far. What an incredible run he went on to make it to this World Series. To give himself a shot, just couldn't pull it out in the end and lazy the champion. Wow, I'm just blown away at how he was able to get it done there. Uh, in four games, emphatic fashion in the sweep, Lazy's offense was, was absolutely unstoppable. And his list of accolades goes on and on. You know, you, if you played Super Mega Baseball 2, you knew who Lazy was, you know, in that environment. He was the first player, uh, known player, to 9999 rating in pennant race. He was always at 99 Ego. We, we brought him into the fold early on here in this this move to the cross-platform baseball league after we transitioned from xbox and his his story started there really and and it's and not ending here tonight but it's adding a very huge yes. chapter an xbl championship he can really add that to his trophy cabinet along with all of the pendants and all of the other amazing accolades he's achieved so congratulations to lazy tonight for getting it done yeah, like you said, one of the one of the single most storied players in the history of this game franchise of Super Mega Baseball, at least on the PvP half of things. Uh, and now he can finally say that he achieved possibly one of the hardest things to achieve, and that's an XBL championship, uh, a championship in a long form season against your peers, against all the other best players in in the, in the world at Super Mega Baseball. Uh, he 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 stands alone. Like I said, he is the champion. Big congratulations to Lazy. He's a classy individual, very well deserved. He had a bit of a, a rocky road in the playoffs to make it this far, but once he got to the World Series, he didn't miss his opportunity. He absolutely seized it, winning it in a decisive sweep. I mean, what more can we say? Uh, just a just a happy moment for him and and for Jackals fans everywhere. Yeah, class act like you said in Lazy, getting it done. Uh, many congratulations, like we've said multiple times to him for for winning this world series and in the xbl's eighth season we've been doing this for two years and it's been a pleasure to really you know make this all happen and to see all the history that's grown out of it and to have our first pc player to be someone of the caliber of lazy uh to to for him to get it done as this number one seed we watched him all season really do his what he does you know apply that amazing trade of, of hitting and just an impeccable eye and and it was huge for him but you know ashnod to on the other hand, he did so well this season, you know, smashing records himself, being the rookie of the year in this XBL. Uh, many, many congratulations to him for being the runner-up and getting this far. It was an awesome playoff tournament for him. He scored so many runs. He just wasn't able to yes. hold lazy at the end. And, and you know, this was the icing on the cake to an amazing season, I think. Absolutely. And again, congratulations to lazy. That is it for us tonight. Uh, that was our final XBL cast, Wayne. I can't believe it's over. It seems like yesterday we were starting with that uh, that that first night. Ashnod and Sudo played. Um, what a night that was, of course. But uh, it's all led to this. We're done with XBL, but we're not done with broadcasting. We still have the AAA World Series. That will be tomorrow night. Uh, Jam Paladin versus V Hagen. Jam Paladin leads two games to none. Both games earlier tonight were very close. So still plenty of great PvP. Super Mega Baseball action, the, you know, some of the best players in the world. Our AAA World Series continues on tomorrow night. Thank you all for hanging out with us tonight, though. That was a lot of fun, and uh, why don't you sign us out? Uh, yeah, everybody, thank you again for being here for this awesome season. Every single broadcast uh, along the way in this XBL season has been a ton of fun, uh, whether it be with me, with Light Snag, with Weaver, with Mike the Cooch joining in. 
Uh, we had a great time uh, doing this all for you. And like Weaver said, we have more coming for you tomorrow with the continuation of the AAA World Series. But with the XPL ending tonight, um, you know, that was it's been a lot of fun in that regard. And thank you all for being a part of it. It's been a historic and epic season. Congratulations again to Lazy. Uh, congratulations to, to Ashnod for getting as far as he did. And congratulations to everybody, you know, for participating. It's been a fun effort and a, and a lot of work, but a lot of been a ton good, of fun, yeah. a ton of, a lot of good fun, a lot of good memories, a lot of great history has been made and, and more will be made as we go forward. So thank you all for joining us tonight. Uh, it was a pleasure to cast it to you all and Weaver and Dwayne will see you tomorrow for the AAA world series. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you.